Celtics bounce back with Game 3 road win over Cavaliers. The Boston Celtics bounce back in a big way with a Game 3 road win over the Cleveland Cavaliers, reasserting their dominance in the Eastern Conference Finals. After dropping the first two games of the series at home, the Celtics came out with a sense of urgency and determination in Game 3, delivering a statement victory that shifted the momentum of the series. From the opening tip, it was clear that the Celtics were a different team in Game 3. They played with a level of intensity and focus that had been lacking in the previous two games, and their execution on both ends of the court was sharp and precise. Led by their young core of Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, and Terry Rozier, the Celtics played with a confidence and poise beyond their years, refusing to back down in the face of a hostile road crowd and a Cavaliers team led by LeBron James. Tatum, in particular, was sensational in Game 3, showcasing his scoring ability and versatility on the offensive end. The rookie forward poured in a game-high 30 points, knocking down shots from all over the court and attacking the basket with aggression and confidence. His performance was a testament to his maturity and composure under pressure, as he consistently stepped up in key moments to keep the Cavaliers at bay. Brown and Rozier also made significant contributions in Game 3, providing scoring punch and defensive energy to help the Celtics secure the win. Brown, who had struggled with his shot in the first two games of the series, found his rhythm in Game 3, scoring 23 points on efficient shooting from the field. Rozier continued his strong play at the point guard position, controlling the pace of the game and making timely plays on both ends of the court. Defensively, the Celtics were locked in from the opening tip, stifling the Cavaliers' potent offense and forcing them into difficult shots. They communicated effectively on switches and rotations, closing out on shooters and contesting shots at the rim. Al Horford anchored the defense with his rim protection and shot-blocking ability, while Marcus Smart provided his trademark tenacity and physicality on the perimeter. The Cavaliers, meanwhile, struggled to find their rhythm on offense in Game 3, as the Celtics' suffocating defense disrupted their flow and forced them into tough shots. LeBron James, despite another stellar performance with 27 points, 12 assists, and 7 rebounds, was unable to carry the Cavaliers to victory on his own. The supporting cast failed to step up in a meaningful way, with Kevin Love and Kyle Korver being the only other players to reach double figures in scoring. The Celtics' Game 3 victory was a testament to their resilience and mental toughness, as they refused to let their early series deficit deter them from their ultimate goal of reaching the NBA Finals. Head coach Brad Stevens made key adjustments to his lineup and rotations, putting his players in positions to succeed and maximizing their strengths on both ends of the court. Looking ahead to Game 4 and beyond, the Celtics will need to build on their momentum from Game 3 and continue to play with the same level of intensity and focus. They must remain disciplined on defense and continue to move the ball on offense, exploiting the Cavaliers' weaknesses and capitalizing on their own strengths. With the series now tied at 2-2, the Celtics have a golden opportunity to seize control and punch their ticket to the NBA Finals. In conclusion, the Celtics' Game 3 road win over the Cavaliers was a statement victory that showcased their resilience and determination in the face of adversity. Led by their young core of Tatum, Brown, and Rozier, the Celtics outplayed the Cavaliers on both ends of the court and shifted the momentum of the series in their favor. As they look ahead to Game 4 and beyond, the Celtics must continue to play with the same level of intensity and focus in order to secure a spot in the NBA Finals.